Okay, so this is low water at Peel. This is Peel Harbour entrance. Well, there's one major problem with rafting up to a fishing boat. <laughs> it's cold. Three o'clock in the morning. They want to go fishing. When they want to go fishing. <laughs> That's the moon rising over the top of that building and it's pretty much a full moon and it's just magical. We are just having so much fun. We've got seals, we've got birds, we've got gannets, things like that. Um, the place does smell rather distinctly of fish. <laughs> We're hoping that's just the harbour and not the Isle of Man. But <laughs> oh, and I don't know if we can see him or not. It's quite dark, but there he is. Our friend has returned. As you can see, it's choppy even inside the outer harbour and that harbour wall is where we were moored last night between those fishing boats and I don't really think I'd want to be moored there today. It's blown an absolute hooey see the flags and things like that. It's meant to get a lot worse. Where Gaynor is entertaining herself at the moment. She's in that whelk stall interviewing the uh, owner and asking about queenies and whelks and things. So these are fresh queenies. When were these caught? Uh, a, day, a day ago. A day ago. So it's a portion of queenies going in. This is going to be my lunch in a minute. So we're just cooking that with a little bit of um, butter olive oil. and olive oil, yeah? Oh, look at that. So how many minutes do Queenie's Nate take to cook? Uh, two. Two minutes? No more than two minutes. Two and a half, two to two and a half minutes. So we've, uh, and these are quite... You've got to use real Manx butter. Oh, got to use real Manx butter. <laughs> None of this half that. <laughs> So we've got a bit of oil and now we're adding the butter. Tell me about the shells on the beach. They, they get dumped a mile and a half down and they get wash, washed up at the other side. Right, I see. So uh, all those shells come from uh, uh, making the, from these then? From cleaning the queenies, yeah. From the queenies. Good. I'm having queenies for lunch, Bev. Good for you. It's uh, just two minutes, two to two and a half minutes. Yeah. What are queenies? Uh, scallops. Right. So that's my little uh, collection of queenies. You're having kippers, aren't you? <laughs> oh, this is what you do on a cold day in the field. <laughs> mm. Absolutely gorgeous, actually. Did he cook them in anything or did he just. Um, it was just um, oil and Manx butter. Mmm. Try one, you know, Bev. I'm not a thing for eating what looks like sheep's testicles. <laughs> well, Bev, get that out of the cup, please. Give a hand. They've uh, actually lit this fire to start the chimney for tomorrow. So um, uh, he's lit the fire because it takes a day to just keep um, get the place all warmed up. So I've bought some smoked bacon and I've bought some more of the kippers so uh, I'm going to cook something with the kippers um, a bit later but for now we're going to use the um, traditionally smoked bacon to make my lunch. So what I'm doing is I'm making boat toast and because I don't have a um, grill all I've done is I've put the butter in and now I'm going to put the bread in. I've got my boat toast, I've got a bit of bacon and then I'm just adding my queenies just to uh, get them nice and hot. So <laughs> it's very simple but I have to tell you the queenies cooked with that tiny bit of bacon has made it absolutely scrumptious dumptious um, and the harbour master was telling me that um, a little bit of garlic um, along with the uh, smoked bacon would be good. But seeing as I wanted a bit of bread with it for my lunch, um, I've just gone for the uh, smoked bacon and the queenies. The weather was a lot better the next day and it was very calm in the marina, so we figured that we could probably leave. 
he went to have a look over the seawall and check the conditions out to sea and it didn't take us very long to realise we were going to be spending another day in Peel. It was clear that the sea was still very agitated from the storms and gales of the previous couple of days and it was going to take a while longer to calm down. Okay, so this is low water at Peel. This is Peel Harbour Entrance. <laughs> yeah, I think we need a bit of water there. I think we need a bit of water too. So the new plan is this. We come out as soon as we can at high tide tonight. We grab one of these mooring buoys and then we stay on them to low tide, which is like it is now. And then we go out round the corner and we hopefully catch the south going tide. <sighs> plans, plans and crazy plans. Our plan was to uh, go on some mooring balls over there, but it was just far too crazy for that. So uh, we're currently rafted on to a very small, so here we are and uh, we're call, currently uh, rafted and we have got every single fender on. Then we have um, our lines here at the front. This is our line and it's going all the way over. You can't even see it. Anyway, there's a fishing boat over there somewhere. Yeah, I know, it's difficult to see. I and I can't see it. It's there. So our lines are going to the fishing boat and this tiny little craft is right between us. Right, okay, somewhere down there there is a mooring ball because we've had some more. <sighs> well, there's one major problem with rafting up to a fishing boat. <laughs> it's cold. Three o'clock in the morning. When they want to go fishing. <laughs> when they want to go fishing. <laughs> so um, we've had to uh, go back to the mooring balls, um, which we tried to get on uh, last night. Um, but at least now the sea state has um, improved considerably. So whereas before we were in absolutely horrendous roll and I just said to Bev, I can't sleep in this. There's just no way, it was just too bad. Um, you know, at least now it's calmed down. The sea state's calmed down, so um, we're actually back on the mooring ball. But, but yeah, three o'clock in the morning, they decided they wanted to go. Uh, so we just had to move the boat. Uh, so we're on the mooring ball. It's a low tide sunrise at Peel. We're getting ready to go off round the tip of the Isle of Man. Today's sea looks considerably flatter than what we've seen recently, so we're very grateful for that.